Well, hi there, Pluckers. I'll be solving Greg again with you. Thanks indeed for joining me for another guitar lesson. This is a request I've had for a song called Getting Away With It All, in brackets, all messed up, by um, James. Okay. Uh, I will put a link in the description box which takes you to uh, a video of uh, James playing this at uh, Glastonbury, I think it was. Okay. Uh, standard tuning, capo on the fifth fret. Okay, this brings us into the same key that James normally performs this number in. Uh, so without more ado, I'm going to go through uh, an intro, the first verse and the first chorus, um, and I'll do. I'll repeat the chorus. Uh, it, originally, it starts off with a picked sequence of chords, then it goes into a strummed version of chords. Okay, so I'll show you both both ways of doing it. So, and then basically you've got everything you need to play the song. It just repeats the whole sequence, goes round and round and round with different verses, okay? And then obviously a chorus after each verse, okay? So here we go. <clears throat> Are you aching for the bleed? That's okay. We're in should. Are you aching for the grave? Oh, that's okay. We're in should. Getting away with it all messed up Getting away with it all messed up That's the living Getting away with it all messed up Getting away with it all messed up That's the living Getting away with it all messed up Getting away with it all messed up That's the living Getting away with it all messed up Getting away with it all messed up That's gold living Once it gets going, it generally strums rather than picks, but uh, the first part of the song it tends to pick it. Okay, so there we have it. So basically, the four chords in the song that goes round and round and round are in this with a cap on the fifth fret A minor, C, G, and D. And it just goes round and round that sequence. Okay, and uh, the picking sequence, if you're doing the picking. Uh, if you're doing it picking, basically the way I'm doing it is basically I'm playing an A minor and I'm hitting the fifth string open and I'm going uh, on the first holding the A minor, first string, second string, third string, twice and then the first string on its own. So it's Then play a C chord and repeat the picking pattern, hitting the bass note first on the third on the fifth. This one, okay. Okay, so it's fifth string, first string, second string, third string, first string, second string, third string, first string. And then you play a G chord and you do exactly the same, but hit the third on the sixth first. It's that one, and then it's one, two, three, one, two, three, one. And then a D chord, open fourth, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. Okay, so you get this. Okay, and it starts all over again. Okay, and obviously when you're strumming, it's exactly the same chord sequence. Okay, it's just. So 
so on, okay, so it's... Is if you've got a friend who's uh, available <laughs> from the second guitar, um, whilst you're strumming, I mean, the, he he could he or she could be still doing picking, um, slightly different picking. Um, uh, you could do uh, this sort of thing where you start off on the A minor, and you only play basically the first three strings. So you go, uh, so you stop on the A minor, so it goes. Um, and then you play. Just using the first three strings on each chord. So you start off with an A minor, but you're only playing the first three strings, so it's like that shape. Second on the third, first on the second, open first string. Okay, then just take that second finger off. Okay, just using that single first fret, second string. Then we go up to um, the one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh fret from the capo, and play a D shape, which will be your G, uh, C chord, and and then again using the first three strings. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Well, sorry, it's three, two, three, one, two. Sorry, what? Three, one, two. Sorry, three, one, two, four, three, one, two. Okay, three, one, two, and occasionally you could add your suspended finger on the uh, eighth fret from the capo on just like a D suspended. Just pick around like that and then take it down to the D chord and do exactly the same thing. So you end up with you somebody going. Second guitar's going. Something like that, okay? And then you get the full sound of the, the whole record, okay? Well, I hope that helps you, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.